Sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yo, YouTube. Welcome to the great FX TV, man. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you're still with the force, just hit that like button, man. And if you have enjoyed the Telegram channel, <clears throat> Sorry about that. Hit the first link in the description box to hit and join the Telegram channel. And if you haven't subscribed, just hit that subscribe button and comment something positive. Cause we're only moving with positivity, guys. Okay, I hope you can see that right here. We have um we have envelopes. These are not your moving averages. I know a lot of people might think these are uh, the moving averages. I know a lot of people might think these are the moving averages, but then they are not, guys. These are the envelopes. I don't know if you can see that, but if you want to get the settings of the envelopes, just hit the first link in the description box to join the Telegram channel, and then you'll be able to uh, get the settings of the strategy. Okay, let's go straight into it. Uh, these are the envelopes. First rule, we sell crash, we buy boom. That's the first rule. Second rule, it is that you have to be in a downtrend on crash. You have to be in an uptrend on boom. That's the second rule. The third rule, it is that you do not buy on resistance on boom. And you do not sell on support on crash. Awesome. So let's get straight into it. This is crash 300. What you're just going to do is that, let me show you. Each and every time the market plays above the two envelopes. I don't know if you can see that. Like, here's the market, right? It was uh, coming down. It retraced. It went back down. As it went back down, it went all the way up. As it went all the way up, what did it do? It was above these two, right? Which is these two um, envelopes. So, each and every time the market is above these two envelopes, you're just going to wait for them or we're just gonna wait for the market per se to cross them again to cross these envelopes again and then as it crosses the envelopes again you're just going to do what going to wait for the market to come back to the envelopes and when it comes back to the envelopes you're just gonna sell guys the strategies that i'm showing you are easy they are easy pretty simple you see they are pretty simple you're just gonna wait like i'm saying you just wait for the market to be above I don't know if you can see the the market is above the two envelopes i don't know if you can see that here's the market right here are the ticks as the market is above that you're gonna wait for the market to do what to go below now as it comes below what you're gonna do you're gonna wait for the market to retrace to these envelopes as soon as it touches these envelopes what do you do you sell you see and that's on crash right that's on crash let me show you another example. You're just going to wait for the market to be above these two. As it is above these two, you're just going to wait for it to spike. After spiking, that is when it is now below. It is no longer above. As it, as it, as it is now below, you're just going to wait for the market to retrace to these envelopes. And then as you can see, it retraced to these envelopes and you would have sold. I don't know if you can see how lucky you would have been. And this is Chris Trandred. You would have made a lot of money. You would have made a lot of money. And I'm telling you, you would have made a lot of money. <laughs> By the way, don't mind that language. Um, It's my home language. And I know it's my first time speaking my home language here. I was, I was just trying to show you guys or um let you guys know that English is not my language. I can speak any other language. By the way, there we go. You wait for the market. Now it's just going to be the opposite. Do you remember on crash, it is that you wait for the market to be above. And then when it crosses, it is now below. And then when it retraces, you sell. Now it is the opposite. You're going to wait for the market to be below first. After it is now below, what you're going to do? You're going to wait for the market to be above. Now, after after um it is above, you're going to wait for the market to do what? To retrace to these envelopes. As it retraces to these envelopes, what you would have done it is that you would have just bought right there. And you would have got beautiful and nice spikes. Awesome. And this is Boom Panda. It would have made 
need you a lot of money. I don't know if you can peep that, but you can see again right here the market went below these two envelopes, right? As it went below these two envelopes, what did it do? It went above. It's just wait, remember trading. I'm telling you guys. You guys love to predict the market, and that is so wrong. You just wait for the market to do whatever it does, and you're going to react towards that. You do not predict the market. You do not tell the market to go up, to go down, to do what. That's wrong, guys. People be telling you that, and that is not the right way. I'm telling you guys right here, right now. I'm telling you guys right here, right now. You just wait for the market to behave, to act to do whatsoever and then you're gonna react towards that you can see that the market got below right as it got below it went above as it went above what you would have done it is that you would have bought right there let me show you uh you see right here it went above and then as it went above it retraced right here you see meaning you would have bought um right here you would have bought right here right this would have been your buy and then right after buying you see you didn't even wait you just almost waited for only a minute and then right after that you see you got your beautiful spike let me give you the last example let me give you the last example awesome you see right here what you would have done it is that you wait for the market to be below the um the envelopes as you can see the market was trading below right as the market was trading below you just wait for the market to do what to now be above as it is now above what do you do you just wait for it to retrace remember i said trading is a game of reacting towards the market is doing you see and then as it retraces to these envelopes what do you do you buy guys there's no one who's giving you a, um, a lot of um, necessary information about boom and crash like i do i'm telling you but yes i'm uh, the, the 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 business is not about that um thank you guys I hope you understood. If you didn't understand, just rewind and rewatch the video. And if you want the settings, just hit the first link in the description box to get the settings of the strategy. And I shall see you there, guys. God bless.